What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. Starting things off today, we have the um, ALC frigate and the rest of the name escapes me. But luckily, I think, I'm pretty sure the name is on the side of the ship. I was trying to do it off of memory, but alas, not happening. Oh, A-T-E-R. I thought it was A-L-C. Lotus Adara, I think is the actual title. So, yeah. This is uh, supposed to be an exploration ship designed around eventually landing on planets, which hopefully should be soon. I know that the devs have been working on that update for a while, but that's a pretty big change to the game. So, I have a sneaky suspicion that that's part of why they're working on some of the render stuff like DirectX and things. Um, is... Probably. Ooh, I like this. A little observation deck. Ooh, I like that. Um, it's probably to get. Oop, do I have my dampeners on? I do. Okay. Um, so that you can eventually get into maybe working with that a bit more and maybe it'll work better. So there is an elevator because of the eventual planetary situation. We do have gravity. Now, what I don't know... I'll be darn. I think... Uh, lock and... I don't know what that last one does. I'm, this is a small ship. Isn't it? Yeah, this has to be a small ship. Yeah, holy crap. Well, no wonder I'm getting such low frame rate on it. This is like a billion blocks. Oh my gosh! This is intense! Like, holy cow! Seriously though, no wonder the thing's not like... Run I was looking at it going, um, you know, I didn't expect this ship to really run that bad on frames, so I was kind of surprised when I first logged in here and it was like, you have a few frames. But that explains a lot. I did not realize this. That's how large this ship is. I didn't think it was a small ship. Oh, okay. Looks like the uh, builder was native to a different language. That's probably why <laughs> I can't read anything. I'm getting bits and pieces, but wow, this is cool, though. Like, I don't know how people do this stuff. I really don't. This this kind of art style is is somewhat lost on me. Um, not like this stuff, I mean, this is the bathroom air vent, yay, but like, framing stuff in, or putting a stripe here, or a stripe there, or a different kind of, like, I don't know. I just never feel like, uh, I mean, I know a lot of people compliment me on my builds and stuff as I do them, but I just never feel like I can get stuff this detailed, like, this is cool. I know that that's why a lot of builders that are really, really skilled at building do actually use, um small ships and then make them bigger is so they can get like more refined detail out of it um which i i guess that makes sense but like this kind of stuff you can get these little grates on a row and it doesn't take up the whole wall um i usually don't do that kind of stuff partially just because of my um frame rate I, I feel like it's going to kill it. Though, I'm not doing that much better on my survival world anyway. Uh, but that was the cryopods and med bay and, and everything, which is cool. Uh, we saw the bathroom there. This is the... I think these are the um, quarter reactors, those curved ones, which are pretty cool. And this was the bunks, we saw that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are those, like, half... Or, no, not half, it's like a quarter... Let's see... Where's the lock button? Lift lock. Wait. There we go. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. Uh, that leads back to where we were before. So then we'll head this way. So I guess it's not actually that big of a ship. I really thought it was massive from the outside. I love everybody... Everybody <laughs> seems to be using the uh, M Master configurable LCDs, which, for good reason, it's probably one of the best scripts I've ever seen 
done in the game so far. Um, I mean, they just, it does so much crap. Like, you've got all the statuses for doors. I'm pretty sure that's what this is all done. It looks like it. I've seen it enough now. It kind of looks like it. Though some of this, I don't know. Uh, I know you can use different components, and maybe not everybody uses all the components, but, you know, um, I don't know what all this is. Motor, display, reactor, maybe that's power? I don't know. Uh, that looks like oxygen summary and infra and cargo information, component summary. So that's probably yeah, that's cool. That is so cool. Um, all right. Now I did read in the description. It's not really that geared for combat because it's mostly for exploration and planet landing. Um, you got those nice uh, modular thrusters so we can hear them but it actually moves pretty good I mean you can tell against the asteroid it moves at a pretty good clip for the for the size of the ship I love the outside exterior design too Ooh, yeah it moves pretty good I mean it's not a fighter but it, even in the name it says it's a frigate it's not supposed to be a fighter um, now I kind of want to see oh right reading oh that's the landing gear. That looks like the same thing. So landing gears are on a hinge then. We have connectors, locks, camera, doors. That might be all the doors or the uh, antenna, turrets, lights, lights, thrusters, something else. Oh, engine. Okay. So are the gears out? I can't see them. I don't know. I'm probably breaking things on the inside. <laughs> um, oh, right, so that's the... I was just about to look for the observation deck. That's that's right there. It's the bridge or cockpit, I guess. So yeah, really cool design. I kind of like it. Um, I was not expecting it to be a small ship, though. That kind of surprised me a bit. Um, I also... Unless I just missed it, which is very, very likely. But I also did not see like a processing plant. Where is all that stuff? I feel like I'm missing a door is all. Like, um... I'm looking for like the oxygen and stuff like that. It should be in here unless I'm really just missing it. Or if it's under the hood, maybe. Like, not accessible, which would make sense as, as well. I don't know what this button does. Oh, lights. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's just not accessible from this side. Maybe there's a maintenance hatch or something on the outside. Anyways, uh, I think we're gonna move on to the next one. Alrighty. So, it's against my better judgment, but... <laughs> We're gonna do this one. Um, a lot of you have probably seen this on the workshop. It's the Dawnstar Train. And pretty much exactly how it sounds, it is a supposedly fully functional train. I say supposedly because I'm factoring in user error. <laughs> uh, uh, the impressive part to me is that there's no mods, according to the description. Landing gear, connector, landing gear. So, I... Man, this... People say programming is confusing. That, like, when I talk about programming... And I don't mean on my series, just friends and family and stuff that I've talked to about programming. Everyone tells me programming is confusing and they don't know what I'm talking about. This looks like programming to me. <laughs> like... I don't... This is a large ship. These are large connectors. These are small ships with landing gears and rotor heads and... Uh, like, how... I don't even know. I don't even know how you would do this. This makes no sense to me. I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna drive it. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, if I can find the door. 
What is with me and doors, man? I can never find the entrance. There we go. <gasps> Ooh. Well, look at you, little Mr. Handy Dandy auto door. Um, that's comforting. There's a cryopod right here. All right. I side note, I really like this red color. Like this has got to be a custom custom color cuz this is kind of awesome. Uh can I is there any free space that I can select? No, of course not. Never. Never any free space. <sighs> To me personally, that I find kind of annoying about uh, sp the Space Engineer's Collision System. Yeah, look at that. That is a really deep burgundy red, but man, that's awesome. So this track is the kind of the same thing. Like, it's legitimately um, all just woven together through... Very I don't even know how long this must have taken to figure out what connects where and how long things had to be or what segments had to be where. Now this makes me nervous that there's another train over here because naturally when there's two trains on the track I immediately think we're going to crash them just on accident. Now it looks like if I know anything about trains which mm, take that with a grain of salt because I probably don't. Timer block switch what did I just do? I just did something. I was thinking that this should change the tracks, right? I hear something going ee, but I don't know. We're just gonna drive this thing. If we crash, we crash. Um, <laughs> there's also like a loading bay. I'm assuming if this were, if you were, you know, I don't know actually doing this for real and actually this would be kind of cool like if you had a base set up at one of these asteroids and it's like let's uh take train it's like minecraft minecarts almost it's like let's set up a train system this is cool too there's like buggies in here like really cool idea really good design it actually looks legit um, apparently, according to the way the description is worded, the idea behind this was to kind of make a working model train set in the game, but that you drove instead of standing back and actually doing anything. Timer block forward, timer block... I love, I love, I adore this builder. I don't... The name escapes me at the moment. I did not look at who built it, but it'll be in the description. I love it. Look at how easy it is to use. Two buttons. One. Four. This is the kind of stuff that I I need when doing crap like this. Is I need simple instructions. Um, maybe I need better instructions. <laughs> like, does it speed up? I'm gonna risk it and hit forward again. Okay, now my sp no, my speed kind of went up. I feel like I'm I'm scared to keep increasing this, but I don't really want to take all day. This is making me so nervous. I feel <laughs> I kind of want to just crank it and see what happens. Uh, well, you know. I've got a reputation to uphold now. I've been doing this series for a while, and I tend to blow up more of the ships that I look at than uh, keep them intact. So I got a I got a rep to uphold. Now, how does this work? More importantly, why is it here? Why make a gap? I guess it just drives over. Dang, man! I wish I could design road vehicles this well. I design road vehicles, and then they don't stay on the ground, or they drive all over the place. Alright, let's do it. Let's do the unsafe thing and just keep tapping this button and see how fast we can make this go without dying. Or just see how fast we can make this go. I don't know if there's like a test speed or a safe speed or 
anything like that. So let's test it. We're, we're stress testing this thing right now. We're up to eight. I feel like we're getting a little bit of a side to side wobble. Oh, this is so cool. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you will look to your right, you will see a rock. Oh, there's a hole in the rock. Oh, you can see a little bit of the track. Nope. Back to a rock. But have heart if you look to your left. Oh, more rock. Well, this tour sucks. <laughs> that is really cool, though. That, like, you can go f into first person and actually see, like, the, the tunnel look. Alright, back to speed. I'm just spamming this. This is probably a horrible idea. Maybe we're at the maybe we're at the max. <laughs> Go faster. No. Okay. I th I think it's I think it's at the point of no return. I think. Oh, I just had a hugely amazing idea that I don't feel nearly qualified enough to do. Someone needs to build a roller coaster. That needs to happen. Like, someone needs to replicate a roller coaster or something. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. I don't know how it would be done, and it would probably end up looking more like Roller Coaster Tycoon, where half the time you crash and kill everyone. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I totally... <clears throat> Never did that. All my rides worked perfectly fine. Um, all right. Oop. Get a little wobbly. Get a little wobbly. Maybe I shouldn't be standing over here. Maybe I'm throwing the weight off. All right. We've set. We've set the. Uh, oh, the suit's even that color, dude. I. I don't know why. I'm not normally a fan of red. Like usually, I'm more blue and blacks and stuff. I mean, go figure. I'm sure none of you that watch my regular series have noticed that. But I really like this red color. Good job on the coloring. So, moment of truth before we end this. Because, I mean... I can't get it going. Don't hit me! Oh, wow, that looks kind of wobbly. Ah! Oh. It'd be cool with the new ragdoll effect that in survival... <laughs> I'm gonna outrun it! I'm gonna outrun it! Oh, this is cool! This is cool! We're doing it! Yeah! Go! Go! Astronaut, go! Oh, I'm running off the edge. Oh, <laughs> alright! Anyways, that's really awesome. I know I got really goofy there for a second, but... Um, this, I don't even know how long that must have taken to build. That's incredible. And it actually works. And, and you, you know, don't crash, burn, and die. Which is very impressive to me. <laughs> Alright, so... Having seen that, we'll move on to the next one. Alright, I'm gonna apologize ahead of time for the frame rate. Because this one's gonna be bad. Uh, but it looked so cool, I couldn't pass it up. Um, so this is actually a replica of the new ship in the latest... Uh, I'm, I'm assuming they were referring to the movie Prometheus, uh, hence the name of the movie, or I mean the name of the ship, but it did say the latest alien movie. Eh. I'm not a huge fan of those movies, so I can't really recall... I always like the Predator movies, but I was I didn't like watch the alien ones too much, so I can't recall if it was like named that in most of the movies, or if they're actually referring to the new Prometheus movie. Um, but, but, anyways, anyways, not important. The important part is, it is a replica from the movie, and it looks freaking awesome. So, a couple of things that really caught my eye, man, my frames, uh, that really caught my eye about this ship, most notably was probably the rotatable engines, if that's a yeah, rotatable. Rotating engines. Whatever. I don't know what the proper term is for that. Um, though, holy crap, those look like gigantic rotors. Do I have a grinder? I do. Like, am I just going nuts, or are those just, like, massive? Oh, it's a ring rotor. Okay, that's why. Ring rotors are a mod. I don't know if 
I mention it too often or not, but the ring rotors are a mod that you can actually walk through the rotor, and the rotor spins on the outside, which is cool. Um, hanger is retractable, and it's flush. You can see pretty cl as close as close can get for flush to a flat surface. Um, so that's pretty cool. We got our little uh, driver pod thing over here, a little rover. Uh, I don't know if there's any special keys to this. We're going to turn the light off. Let's back it up. No? Maybe? Are we locked? No. Hmm. Is this just for show? Is that what's going on here? A little confused. Hmm. Well. <laughs> uh, that's... Interesting. Control... Why can't I control the wheels? Spotlight. Mass. I don't know. We'll leave it. I was gonna show... I was gonna show that you could drive over it, but... I guess that requires the rover to drive. Um... Alright. Hangar door. Hangar door. Not sure what the difference is. Hangar door lock. Uh, maybe front and back? Let's press a button. Oh! We're going up. We're going up. Oh, that's slick! So they used a catwalk so that when you get level, then you can just walk off the thing. What? You kidding me? And there's probably landing gears up at the top, I would imagine. This one's probably down, then. So we'll lock that in. Gosh, that's awesome. I'm guessing. Oh, they're pistons, so you probably just turn off the... Yeah, it probably just turns off the piston. That would make sense. Oh, wait, man, I don't know. Is that the lock? I thought I locked it. Door lock. Nope. Don't know what that's for. Alright. Anyways. Um... This... This is not the bridge. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I saw that there's like more in front of me and then I'm like, yeah, no. I was like, there's no way. There's no way this is... Okay, here we go. That's better. That's better. I was like, yeah. There's no way that's all there is to the bridge. Alright, so we got reactors. And this is probably going to go up to the main bridge, I would imagine. Though I've been known to be wrong. Uh, looks like I might be wrong, actually. Um, I haven't seen the movies in a long time, but this... Uh, these walls, these corridor blocks, have always kind of made me think of the Alien movies anyway. So it's kind of fitting that they're using these. Side note, two turrets. Don't come in here without proper authorization. You're going to get shot to pieces in the back, no less. That's a cool system. Wait for the... Uh, Wait for the people who are breaching the ship to get into the door, and then shoot them. I like it. Um, it also reeks of uh, ceiling contaminants. You know, you're in the bridge here, and an alien gets in here, and then they lock the door, and everyone's screaming as they get shot, because they're trying to get away from the alien. I don't know. Um, I kind of want to come back here at some point and try the engines. I don't... Uh, we'll do it here. We'll do it while we're right here. I was going to say I'll do it later after I've explored the rest of the ship. Side note, though, really cool design. Like the use of, of course, for using the, um, oh, what is it? Colts? Or Coltos? Or, make, you're going to make me open up the inventory menu just because it's bugging me. Uh, this one. I forget what it's called. That didn't help me at all. I was looking for the mod name. It was like, it's like Colts or something. Yeah. Yeah. Looks kind of like a Megazord or something, or some big mech. Don't really know what that dish thing is on the side here. Maybe they're trying to get satellite TV. 
Alright, um, let's see. There was a bunch of instructions, but most of them I forgot. As usual, engine lock, engine lock. Rotate engines, rotate engines. Oh, this is going to be reverse. This is going to be on and off. Uh, ring rotor, tunnel one, on and off, reverse. Foot, reverse. Landing gear, reverse. Ah, back thrusters, tightens. Increase and decrease the thrust, or actually decrease and increase. Uh, land. Toggle on and off. Mass. Hangar door. Hangar door. So not too bad. Not too complicated. If we can, you know, not break the things. I'm going to risk it. So I'm holding the space bar. It's kind of hard to tell. Just because this thing is so huge. But it is actually going up, so that's cool. Um, now comes the tricky part of figuring out how to do this part. Um, Alright, so we need to reverse. Well, that was easy. So it's like a VTOL, which is awesome. Like, as soon as I saw the picture of this thing looking like a, some kind of animal, like walking on all fours, and then it had rotatable thrusters, I was just like, oh my gosh. I was like, I don't even know where the inspiration... I didn't even know it was based on the, the movie. I was just like, I have, I have to show. Okay, it looks like they're stopping there. Now, what does this one do? Oh! Oh, jeez. They go that way, too? Really? Well, that's cool. Did not see that coming. Oh, and then it's going to stop when they're horizontal. Oh, my. Or at least they're supposed to stop when they're horizontal. Is there a lock? Oh. Maybe that's what these are for. And then turn off and off. Maybe? Yeah, engine locks. Okay, rotate engines. Foot. Foot, foot, foot. Is that going to retract? Yep. Oh, that's so awesome. I want... I want... That, that is such a cool design. If I could... <laughs> I could figure out how to pull that off. I'd try and steal it. <laughs> I don't think I could do it, though. Um, Alright. I don't know what this one does. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I see. It retracts the feet claw. What? This is the most complicated thruster system ever, but it looks amazing. Like, the epicness here is just epic. <laughs> it's just awesome. Gosh, that's so cool. Alright, now we get to the Titan engine. Which, are these on? Back. Titan. Titans are off. Oh, okay. So they're set for 12, whatever that is, mega newtons or something. Uh, where are these back engines, though? It says back is on. But the Titans are the ones in these pods, so I don't see what those little, what the other engines are for. I don't know. So if I turn these on, we're probably going to go flying. Wee! For as big as the ship is, it actually seems to move relatively quickly. I mean, it's obviously relative to the size of the ship. Now, can I... I'm holding the space button because I'm trying to see if I can actually increase my height as well. I think I am. Yeah. Okay. So, it looks like land and back. I don't know what the designation is there, but there's definitely vertical thrusters. And I'm guessing there's probably side-to-side -side ones. 
And there's obviously reverse ones because we just stopped flying. Gosh, that is so cool. All right, so we tested the flight out. With what little time we have left, I've got to explore the rest of this ship because with a ring, uh, ring rotors in play, that means there's got to be ways to actually walk through the engines, which is very impressive. That's probably the captain's quarters. Or officer quarter, maybe. Maybe not captain quarters. That's where we came up from. I'd like to keep going up and then kind of explore the rest of the... I'd like to get up to the top and then work my way back down. Open. 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 Thank you. Alright, so this is locker room, bunk room. Very interesting but cool use of those ceiling lights. I usually use them on the ceiling or floor. I never thought about putting them on the wall. Uh, bathroom. That's actually really cool. Almost looks like a picture frame. Something you'd see in a fancy like restaurant or hotel. Just a big old glowing picture frame type thing. That's cool. Good idea. Airlock? I'm guessing. I probably came in the wrong way. What is this? Okay. Yep, airlock. So that's the main door. Uh, so no real need to explore the other one. Alright. Let's head this way. See what else we got over here. Mess hall. Interesting. I know they were replicating it off of the movie, so there's not a whole lot of room for creative design as far as... Let's put this over here, even though it was not in the movie that way. Um... But I find it interesting that all of the... Ooh. This is cool. I gotta do something like this in the ship that I'm building. Is make some kind of like normal looking room. Is this a dance floor? Or conference room? Or maybe briefing room? Like address the troops? I don't know. That's weird. If, I, if I'd seen the movie, I could probably tell you what that's for. But I actually haven't seen the newest movie. Um, actually, I don't think I only saw, like, the first aliens, and I think the other ones I just skipped. Like I said, never been a, a huge fan of that one. I always followed the Predator series a bit closer. So that could be a dance floor, could be a briefing room. The world may never know. Uh, billiards room? Rec room? Not to be confused with the reactor room? Or the reac room? Um, looks like utility? Locker room? Storage stuff? Whoa, now. Now you're just getting confusing. Why do we have more than one elevator shaft? Alright, this brings us out where we were, which gives us a view of the hangar. So let's see where that other one goes. It's probably going to end up about the same place, but must confirm. Nope, it does not. It's clearly a movie theater. You're more than likely a uh, briefing room or something. I don't remember how militaristic it was supposed to be. If it was supposed to be like a cruiser, then yeah, that's probably a theater room. <laughs> if it was supposed to be like a military ship, then no, that was probably like a briefing room. Uh, gyroscopes? Where does this meet up at? Ah, okay, I was wondering about this. Because when we flew up to check on the pistons, I saw these doors over here. Got it. I feel like I saw a door or something over this way. Nope, I guess I'm just losing my mind. There's doors that go that way, but we'll probably end up there anyway. More reactors. Uh, what the? Some kind of rotating piston? Oh! I'm a dumb dumb. These are the engines. Okay, so they didn't use the ring rotors to walk through, they used them to clamp onto. Interesting idea. Never thought to do that. 
I was always thinking you used them to like walk your way through things. Like walk through a tunnel and have it spinning around you or something. I don't know. Didn't really think to do that though. Ah, here's the internal thrusters. Now this is actually an interesting idea because you have to do the math and figure out how far they can go without damaging each other, but if you do the spacing correctly, you can completely internalize all of your thrusters, which is a really slick design idea. I think anyway. I'm I'm pro internal thrusters. I think those are I think that's a really neat system. Um if I could get down here, when's the gravity come back on? No, no grab. There we go. All right, so this you can see the doorway leading to this room, which we saw from the hangar, and I think this is as low as the reactors area goes. Like you come in here, and then you go up the stairs. I don't really think there's any further reason to go down if there's any ability to go down. Not really sure what that's there for. Maintenance? Let's go with maintenance. Let's just say this is a maintenance hatch. Oh, and then we're gonna come back up this way. Okay, I gotcha. I think that's everything in the ship. I think? Maybe? Because this way brought us back down to the hangar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Oh, wait. Yep, okay, that's where we were. Alright, so I think that's going to wrap things up for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!